Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to solve maternity magnesium sulfate dosage calculations using the desired over half formula method. Now, if you want to solve these problems with me, you can download a free worksheet via the link in the description below. So let's get started. This problem says that we have a patient with eclampsia and they've been ordered IV magnesium sulfate, and the healthcare provider has ordered a four gram loading dose to be infused over 20 minutes and you're supplied with a bag of IV magnesium sulfate that reads on it four grams per 100 ml. And what you need to determine or solve for is that infusion rate, the milliliters per hour. So to do that, we're gonna use desired over half, as I said earlier, but let's say you prefer a different method like dimensional analysis or ratio and proportion. I have a whole bunch of videos up there that will show you how to do those methods. So with desired over half, we're using this handy little formula. And what the formula says is that we're gonna put the desired dose of what was ordered by the healthcare provider over the dose that we have on hand. And we're gonna multiply that by the quantity. In this case, it's going to be our volume. And that's gonna equal X, what we need to figure out. So let's plug that in and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so desired dose. What's a desired dose? It's a four gram dose. So four grams is what they desire for the patient to have. Over my half dose, what do we have? We have a four gram dose. And we're going to multiply that by the quantity. And my quantity here in this case is volume, it's 100 mLs. And that's going to equal X. Now whenever you're, and this is our first step, and whenever you're solving these type of problems with the desired over half, you always have to make sure that these units of measurement match up. Some problems you do with other types of problems, like, like this might be micrograms, that might be milligrams, you would have to convert to make them the same. Here they're the same, so we can go ahead and start working our problem. So what we're gonna do, our next step, is we are going to divide four, divide by four, that gives us one, bring all this other down. And then step three, one times 100 gives us 100. So 100 equals X. Okay, what does this represent? This represents our milliliters. So this is telling me our volume that has to go in. It's 100 milliliters. But I need to solve for the milliliters per hour. So I need to know how fast this is gonna go in, like our flow, our flow rate. So now we have to do another step. And to do this, we know that these 100 mLs have to go in over 20 minutes. So 100, mLs is going to go in over 20 minutes. And to solve that, we're going to divide. So 100 divided by 20, that gives me 5 milliliters per minute. Okay. So 5, liter, five milliliters per minute. Well, I need to solve for 5 the milliliters per hour. Therefore, what I need to do now is I've got to get this into hours. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, super simple. What you do, you say, okay, how many minutes are in an hour? There's 60 minutes in an hour. So 60 minutes times this five mLs. When we multiply that out, 60 times five, that gives us 300. So 300 milliliters per hour is what our loading dose is going to infuse in to equal this dose that the healthcare provider has ordered. This problem says that we have a patient who's 29 weeks pregnant and they have eclampsia and they've already received a six gram loading dose. Now the healthcare provider wants them to have a maintenance dose. So the order for that is they want them to have one gram per hour and you're supplied with a bag of IV mag that reads on it 20 grams per 500 mil milliliters. And you're trying to solve for milliliters per hour. So what you're gonna set this at so we can give this patient one gram per hour. To do that, we're gonna use our formula. So we need to put our desired dose. So again, what was that? That is what was ordered. It's patient needs to have one gram per hour over what we have. We have 20 grams. We're gonna multiply that by the quantity, which is 500 milliliters. And this equals X. Okay, so we're just gonna take a quick look. Do these units match up? They do, so we are good to solve. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to divide one divided by 20, that gives us 0 0.05. And this canceled out the gram, so I'm gonna mark that out. I'm just gonna bring this hours down. Multiply that by 500. 
Okay, so when we multiply these two together, we are going to get 25 milliliters per hour. And that is our answer. That is what we will put our infusion rate at. For this problem, we have a patient who's been ordered IV magnesium sulfate and they have eclampsia. And the healthcare provider first wants a loading dose of six grams over 20 minutes. And you're supplied with a bag that reads on it four grams per 100 ml. Then after that, they want you to start a maintenance dose infusion. So the patient is going to get two grams per hour and you're supplied with a bag that says 10 grams per 250 mLs. And for both of these problems, we're trying to figure out the milliliters per hour. So you're like solving two problems together and so we need two answers. Therefore, the very first thing we're gonna do is we'll solve for our loading dose. So we're gonna use desired over have again. So the desired dose is six grams. Let's actually move this over because we got some work we got to do. <laughs> okay, six grams over the have dose, you have four grams. We're going to multiply that by the quantity, the volume, so 100 mLs equals X. So again, these units match, so we can go ahead and divide. Six divided by four, that gives me 1.5. Multiply that by 100. When we multiply 1.5 by 100, that is going to give me 150 milliliters. That equals X. So again, this is the volume. We now need to take it a step further and figure out how this needs to infuse in its rate, so milliliters per hour. So just like with our other problem, what we're gonna do is we're going to take 150 milliliters, because we know that's the volume that has to go in. We want that volume to go in over 20 minutes. 150 divided by 20, you are going to get 7.5. But what is it? Milliliters per minute. Don't let that mess you up. And you put your answer as this, because again, you gotta take it another step further. So let's go down here to this step. We need this into milliliters per hour. So again, that part's easy. We know that in one hour, there's 60 minutes. So 60 minutes times the 7.5. When we do that, we get 450 milliliters per hour. And this is our loading dose answer. Now let's jump over here and do our maintenance dose. So I'm gonna put this little line here just to separate it. Okay. So again, we're gonna plug in our formula. Our desired dose is two grams per hour over what we have. What we have, we have a 10 gram dose. We're gonna multiply that by our volume, the quantity. So 250 mLs, that equals X. So again, take a quick look. Do your units match right there? They sure do. So let's go ahead and divide that out. When you divide two, divide by 10, that gives us 0 0.2. That cancels out those grams, leaves those hours left over, which we need those. And you're going to multiply that by 250. Okay, when we 0.2 times 250, that is going to give us 50 milliliters per hour. And that is our maintenance dose rate. Okay, so that wraps up this review. And if you'd like more practice problems on these type of doses calculations, you can access a free quiz via the link in the description below.